Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we traveled deeper uh, into uh, the Black uh, Citadel, or um, Rapthorn's Eye Castle. It's technically called the Black Citadel, I don't know why, but still. Uh, we travel a little bit deeper. Uh, in this file, um, this is the one where um, I killed a Metal King Slime off-screen. And uh, let me uh, let me show you my stats real fast. Uh, nothing too special happened. Uh, eight uh, now has uh, 81 courage. Um, Yangus, uh, I don't think he got anything actually from uh, from that at all. Uh, Angelo, uh, he has more stabs. Uh, didn't earn anything for it though. Uh, and Jessica, she uh, uh, went up a little bit in stabs, almost maxed it out. And she went up in sex appeal, and she got a you know an ability. She can now do a blow kiss. Uh, doesn't really do much. I think it could stun an enemy, but, eh, nothing too special. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's all that, you know, came from that level up. Uh, eight's getting really close to finishing up, uh, Courage as well. So, um, uh, we actually, what I'm actually gonna do right, well, uh, I might, I might actually want to look at me, uh, look at the, look at, like, how long it'll take for the level up, but, Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do this. So, generally, I uh, like to save these for a little bit later, uh, you know, in the uh, in the game, or a little later in the game, but I want to kind of use them now because, again, we are slightly underleveled. We're gonna be using Cetus skill uh, on 8 here. So, what this does is he gets 5 skill points automatically. We're gonna go ahead and put them into Courage. And let's see. So, he becomes Lionhearted now. For uh, 82 skill points in Courage, he gets Omni Heal. This is a spell that, uh, it's like multi-heal, but it heals everyone to max. It's insanely good, and only 8 can learn it. It's amazing. Uh, now, however, I do want to use one more Cetus skill on him. Well, uh... Actually, you know what? We're going to hold out. Um, I'm not going to use it for anybody else, uh, because their skills aren't all that great for now at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to get that, you know, for him because he's going to want that relatively soon. <laughs> relatively soon. So anyway, uh, we're back over here in a Donkey Dave place. Let me uh, talk to him. Uh, brought me a Crimson Robe, eh? So, uh, my big boss shield for your Crimson Robe, we're going to do it. All right, so we get a big boss shield, and this is the only, uh, this is the only, um, uh, shield for Yangus. It's a pretty good defense. I think it's like his highest defensive shield that he can use by himself. And it can cast a sap in battle, but it doesn't really give you the effects of, um, like, fireproof, like, stuff. So, his Gagan armor does that, but, you know, there's better stuff, I guess. So, alright, now, uh, he will, uh, give us 400 gold coins for special medicine. We already have it, and I guess we'll go ahead and give him one. 400 gold coins aren't, you know, too bad, I guess. Alrighty, and, um... Uh, let's see, and reinforced boomerang, so he pretty much starts all over. A thousand golds, yeah, his stuff is starting to go down in price. Uh, kind of, uh, I guess it makes sense, because, you know, <laughs> you can only have, uh, so many, uh, uh, boomerangs that people want to buy. Uh, however, though, we're not done yet. Uh, in the last episode, I told you that we are going to be, um, doing alchemy pot stuff off-screen, and we did. So, uh, this is what you get for combining the liquid metal armor, or a calcum, and, um, you know, the king, uh, or the slime king crown. We get the liquid, uh, or we get the metal king armor. The, uh, I think it's the second strongest armor in, or maybe it's the first strongest armor in the game, I think. Uh, but it's insanely good. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be making use of that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and actually make something else while we're here. We're gonna go ahead and put the white shield into the pot. We're gonna put the mirror shield that we bought in the pot as well. And then we're also gonna put, uh, let's see, where are they? Uh, we're gonna put, here it is. We're gonna put some holy water into the pot next. And, uh, let's see. This is actually, um, we actually got this recipe, uh, from a guy in Pichu. Uh, and hopefully it'll make us something cool. So, uh, it's starting to work. Let me uh, put on that Metal King armor. Why not? Since we have it now. Let's see. Uh, you have it. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to go ahead. Uh, who can make better use of it? Jessica's pretty well set right now. We're not going to put her in that. Uh, technically, Yangus makes pretty good use out of it. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and give it to 8. Because, um, you know, while Sacred Armor is amazing, you know, 30 HP is kind of negligible right now because the enemies can hit for like you know, like 60, 80, so, in each per shot, so. Alright, uh, with that, we're actually done, uh, with a lot of stuff right now. 
Uh, let's go back on over to uh, the Black Citadel and uh, continue climbing even deeper in there. Yeah, it's as long as we've been in a dungeon, three episodes. I mean, last episode wasn't super long, but the one before that was pretty, you know, it's okay. But, um, yeah, just there's a lot to this place. Uh, it's not too difficult, but, you know, you know how it all is. If I find any more uh, Metal King Slimes, uh, I'll definitely show those off to you. All right, I guess we're going to be uh, going this way. I was uh, reading... Um, I'm part of like a smash group, a melee smash group on Facebook, and uh, like I spent like the last 20 minutes reading up on like this one thread, and it's hilarious. It involves like one of our players, uh, like you know people, I guess in Canada aren't super fond of him, I guess, and some people in Washington aren't super fond of him, but I like him just fine. This everyone's just like ranting on this guy for like ever and ever and ever. Like some incident happened at like a tournament that I didn't get to see. But, uh, <laughs> they just went on and on and on about stuff. I'm like, oh, man, I went through, like, this stuff for 20 minutes, and nothing really came out of it, but it was fun to watch. I, I didn't have popcorn, but still a good read. I don't say that. <laughs> I want to make a quick note about Omniheal, just so you guys know. But you can see that Omniheal costs 27 MP to use. So you don't want to use this like crazy. It's really good, but don't go nuts with it. Now, if we didn't have like one of our abilities, uh, it's uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, that one there that can now cast spells three four with three quarters uh, usual MP. It would cost you 36, um, 36 magic to use it. So it doesn't make you know it doesn't really matter because um, uh, yeah, because um, he has already got. You know, he had to get, like, that buff first before, um, going through, uh, the Omniheal stuff. But, yeah, it takes a lot of magic, so, uh, just, you know, keep that in mind. Alright, let's see, we are, uh, where... Oh, okay, yeah, so we're back over here. Uh, like, when last episode, we pulled that lever here to uh, make our way. It means that we have a shortcut now back to the entrance. Using the Sage's Stone, uh, in battle... Uh, to like kind of keep your party healed up is not a bad idea either. You can serve a lot of MP. So if uh, Jessica, you know, feels like she might waste a turn or something, yeah, have her use the Sage of Stone. Uh, it helps out quite a bit. Uh, actually, how am I doing on, oops, uh, on uh, MP? That's a map for us, but uh, HP. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and heal up the Angus. Yeah, I've had Jessica use the Sage of Stone, Sage of Stone a couple of times, but, you know, nothing that too special. I'm hoping that we can get maybe another level up, uh, you know, before we, uh, you know, complete this place. That'd be kind of nice if we could, but uh, the odds of it happening are relatively slim. Uh, broken staircase over there, so let's uh, make our way over here this way. Ooh, that looks... Actually, hang on, have we been here before? Uh, no, I don't think we have, actually. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, make our way uh, in this doorway. This looks kind of spooky. I think we've gotten all the treasure in here also. That Sage of Stone is, um, like, the last big thing you can get. And, uh, ooh, hello. Uh, looking, uh, looking really creepy. Stuchus, or statues everywhere. Are those, uh, I can say maybe they got, like, carved, uh, from people in Arcadia. Huh. Well, we have a couple of staircases, uh, over here. You can go any way that you like, or down any, any one that you care about. No, well, it doesn't matter, but which way, you know, you just have to go. Now, uh, over here, this is a pretty interesting floor, but what you want to do, pretty much, is you want to try to get down a bunch of stairs. Like, the idea is, like, if you see a set of stairs that lead down, try to go down those stairs. Um, because you want to get to, uh, um, a floor, you know, a special floor. Uh, let's see, so that's actually gonna break. I think that'll break. I don't think we can... Yeah, it can't go down that way. Uh, let's see, we can, however, go this way. And, uh, there's a set of stairs over here. So, like I say, look at your map at some point, you'll see where it is you exactly need to go. So, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm going down this staircase over here. And, uh, yeah, this should lead to, yeah, there's another one over here. Let me look at my map real fast. So, we are on floor two. Okay, that means we're doing good. Uh, because this staircase will lead us down to the bottom floor. And, uh, we can continue on our merry way. Oh, dear. I done goofed. Uh, let me see... Hopefully I didn't error too badly. This place can get kind of confusing, so... Uh, let me see, just to clarify. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I think I see where we need to go. So, uh, let's uh, make our way back up the staircase over here. You want to make it over to that side. Let's see, I think I can go... Yeah, I can go around, so we're good. Okay, let's continue on our way. Yeah, sorry about that. I wasted your time just a little bit. 
I may have forgotten to mention that the foul fighters that I said that aren't, you know, super bad <laughs> to worry about, uh, they can actually attack twice uh, per turn, so uh, yeah, I don't uh, uh, you know, take uh, what I said with the great assault there. <laughs> Whoopsie, my bad. But uh, yeah, they can get kind of nasty if uh, they all attack one person, so yeah, eight shots uh, per person. That's going to kill one of them, especially Jessica. But she's been keeping everybody healed up to max because of, um, of uh, you know, this Aegis Stone. Let's see, now I want to go, I remember, I think it was down this way here. Ooh, we get a Metal King Slime. Let's see if we can take this guy out. If we can kill him again, that'd be amazing. Uh, probably not going to happen, but we're going to try our gosh darn best here. Uh, let's see, we have Liquid Metal Swords. Go ahead and do a Metal Slash on him. Uh, let's see you. Uh, go ahead and equip your axe. Let's go ahead and do Executioner on him. Uh, I am certainly hoping for the best here. And two Dragon Glass, come on. No, I done goofed. I mean, you can't really do much. They run whenever they want to. Oh well. Now I do, I've uh, seen that if you um, have a character tense up, for, like I think 20, uh, they can start doing some pretty good damage to uh, like uh, liquid metal slimes and metal king slimes, like with uh, like stronger attacks or metal strikes and stuff like that. So I guess that's take into account, but the problem is that you don't know if you can get off all your attacks before they run away or not. So yeah. Alright. Great. Thanks guys. Alright, you will do multi-shot, and, uh, you can go ahead and just hit him, yeah. Uh, he should be dead after this. We'll see, though. Sadly, didn't, wasn't able to kill the metal slime, but oh well. Oh well. Alright, so, yeah, I guess I can show you what this guy could potentially do. He did attack to us already with the intimidating scream. Thankfully, he, <laughs> I mean, it didn't really matter. <laughs> if, uh, you know, thankfully that didn't happen, like, during a metal slime encounter, that would suck. All right, now let's see. What do I do now, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's make our way over here this way, and uh, there it is. There's the bottom floor, and then let's suck. Oh, it would suck if I was completely wrong. It's like, oh, you have to drop down from the ceiling or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Circular area, uh, looking like a water. Where do they get the waterfall? Like, I'm genuinely curious. How does a castle in the sky get a waterfall like that? It makes no sense. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, make our way down over here this way. I probably need to heal up the party a little bit, because everyone's looking kind of weathered right now. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, hello. What's this place? It looks like a regular old town. Huh. Uh, let's uh, check out this thing over here. Hello. Four statues represent the four pilgrims who will journey under a cloud of sadness. Four pilgrims who will journey under a cloud of sadness? What? May the darkness surround the lost pilgrims. Oh, well, hey, look at that. Uh, yeah, our MP and HP are uh, fully restored. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's check out this place. Uh, let's see, can we go inside? No, I, I can't look at anything. Weapons or anything like that? No, it's just, it's like, it's like boarded up, kind of. Huh. Uh, wow, this is, uh, really intricately done. Cool. Well, I guess we'll just keep walking around the place, huh? And, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's where we got the mirror shield. Cool, go! Cool. Uh, but, where's it gonna take us? Huh. That's, uh, weird. Can we go in here? No, nothing at all. Huh. How strange. Wait. Well, what are these guys? It's us! Whoa. Yeah, there's Jessica. And there's, uh, wait. Is that eight without a head? Whoa. Wait, what? Uh, there's Yangus and Angelo. This is really creepy. Wait, we're back to where we started. Huh? Wait. But, this now? Ugh. This is, uh, this is intricate. How did this come? Well, we have a new enemy. We have uh, the giantess, and we have a stone guardian. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and take out these losers here. Uh, let's see. Eight. I want to get you on the blizzard blade. I think you do a little more damage with it. Uh, we'll have him attack the, I guess, a giantess. Uh, let's see. You'll do a timbrel attention. You will do a shining shot, and you will do twin dragon lash on the stone guardian. 
Let's go kill these guys. Sadly, uh, the Yangus did not get a shot in first. The nice if he got the Timbrel, but that's okay. It's all good. Oh, there it is. So somebody will uh, get a good move out of it. Yeah, the town's looking kind of ragged now. Look at that. This is weird. Huh. Oh, look at that damage. It's pretty good. I like that. I don't think you get that shot with, uh, uh, like, that same damage with, uh, what's it called, um, with uh, the Liquid Metal Blade. Even though it's strong in attack, I think the extra boost is pretty good. <laughs> oh, good job, boys. <laughs> That's the work of the magic, uh, of the mask, uh, or the phantom mask. All right, let's see. We'll have you attack the giantess again. We'll have you do another timbral tension. Uh, we'll have you do multi-shot. We'll have you do another Sword Dragon Lash on him. Ooh, we got it off first. Awesome. And Yangus is getting even stronger. Oh, and he's uh, level, or he's got 20, so we might actually kill these guys if, yeah, if he goes first. Let's see. My. Yeah, there you go. Good job, Angela. He's doing some pretty good damage. He's almost, I think he might do more damage than 8 does. That's insane. Huh. All right, let's uh, keep going. We walked a little bit in the purple pudding, but still, it's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, it's just looking, looking even more eerie. Ugh. Whoa. Yeah. If you recall... Oh. Oh, no. Jessica's in the eighth's head. Yangus is now gone, and so is Angelo. Ooh, these guys have a number on us. Now, if you recall reading that tablet in the last episode, it said to uh, not turn... Oh, new enemies. We have a white priest. All right, let's go and take out these losers here. Uh, let's see. We'll have, um... We'll just have him do a regular attack on him. We'll have, uh, you do another Timbrel. You will do Shining Shot. I think that might do some decent damage. The Twin, twin Dragon Lash. Kaboom! That's gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt pretty dang badly. Thankfully, they gave us a healing spot. <laughs> well, we can't go back to it, though, sadly. Kinda sucks, but that's okay. Right, shining Shot. Let's see. What do we gotta do? Come on. Hit him pretty hard. Oh, I done goofed. That's actually kind of weird. I didn't... Oh, man. Pretty good defense. But we didn't get our timber in. Oh, Yangus, you were super slow. I'm actually surprised that the uh, shiny shot didn't work. Huh. I guess we'll have to use a multi-shot next for uh, the best effect. Oh, boy. Who are you hitting? Uh, eight? Eh, that's going to be some nasty damage. Yeah, look at that damage. That sucks. All right. Uh, let's see. You're going to attack him. You're gonna do another. We'll do another Timbal. Why not? Uh, let's see, you're gonna do multi shot this time, and you're gonna do Twin Dragon Lash again. Yeah, these guys are pretty good defense looking at it. Hmm. Wish it. The Angus had gone first, but oh well. Well, I got him out of there. That's good. I guess these guys will have too much HP to worry about, so. And yeah, well, that'll kill him. Yay! Sweet. Alright. Okay. So, uh, they are all taken care of. Alright, let's uh, go even deeper. Oh, this is looking. Kind of a uh, really, really ominous. They're jail, jail cells, what? Huh. Ooh. Whoa. That's where, uh, that's where that altar was that healed us. I don't think we want to go over there anymore. Yeah, no more free healing. Huh. Oh, gosh, this looks terrible. Man, Black Citadel, not a good place to be, <laughs> clearly. As I was saying, if you um, remember that tablet uh, that was like um, in the last episode that talked about uh, like in a circular room not turning your back, uh, you don't want to do that here. Don't turn around. Just keep on going. Like they're saying like, you know, just keep going, progress even like deeper, deeper and farther, farther. And our bodies are just completely gone now. Oh. And then there's something over there. And uh, that's it. Yeah, so don't turn around, don't like go like different ways or anything, just keep going straight and then you'll have this. And yeah. Oh man. Guys, I think that uh, this may be it. This is uh, I think that this might be our our final battle here, guys. This door? Yeah, I think, uh... I think we're close to the end of the game. And I think we're gonna go ahead and call an episode here, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. You guys have an awesome day. 
and I hope you take care.